Well, hello, YouTube. It's me, Tri-State EDC, with an enormous package that weighs... I don't know how much it weighs, a lot, because it cost $36 to ship. I would say a good six, seven, eight pounds. About as much as I weigh. From Ed Durbin. It's a, it's a beast. I'm sure it is literally filled top to bottom with new knives that I've never seen before. Or old knives that I've never seen before. So we're going to open it. Right before the live stream, on a Sunday, God help me, pray for me, I'll see you uh, right after the intro. Roll it! That's right. That's right. Ed, you know? You know? Ed, in honor of you, I'm going to unbox it with this big crazy knife, the uh, Vostead Gator. Because you're a big crazy knife kind of guy, you know? It's just what you do. It's just how you are. And I appreciate that. And I respect it. So we're going to... Oh, God, man. <laughs> this is a lot. This is a lot. Of, this is a lot of box. Oh, you included Band-Aids. That's good. This is, this is a nice touch. Thank you for that. We have a note. Dude, Ed. Bro, you send me your whole collection again. You can't keep doing this. Oh my god. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. God. Ten. Ten knives. Nothing left in there, see? You. Bro, we got an artisan. We got something from MC Studios. We got another something from MC Studios. We got a hard case that's not labeled. We got a boker. This is absurd, Ed. This is too much. Look at my skinny little legs on camera. You guys like that? You dirty boys. I know you do. Uh, we got a little camo pouch from Kubi. We got a best tech pouch. We have three unmarked pouches. Where do I even begin, dude? Where do I even begin? It's too much, Ed. What do I do? <laughs> Let's break this down. Let's break this down here. Um, God. Okay, I'm going to start with the Artisan, the Kubi, and the Best Tech. We're going to start, we're going to do three at a time. We'll save these for another video. You're coming with me. There's so many knives, bro. Ed, it's, it's so many. Give me how much work this is. <laughs> Let's start with the Artisan. I like Artisan. It's marked as Artisan Mastiff, a knife I've never handled. Love their packaging. The box, the tin, and then the pouch. I approve, I approve. Let me open this thing up and see what this is. What? What? Come. Oh! 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 Holy shit. Wow. First off, the anodizing job on this? Top notch. Way to go, Artisan. Um, let me move this aside. And this as well. What the shit? It's huge. Um, it's huge. It's massive. Here is a Spider Co-Pair 3. Here is a rock wall. So longer than both and a damn sight girthier than both, I would say. Uh, yeah. So we got a flipper and a fuller. Got the Artisan logo on the pivot, Artisan on the blade. S35 VN on the blade steel. Beautiful blue Anno. Nice little uh, anodizing job around the pivot work area, little pivot area. Artisan cutlery laser etched on the back. Oh my god. <laughs> Do they even make this anymore? Future me. Is this a discontinued? This is absurd. Uh, real tall flat grind. Really absurdly tall sheep's foot style blade. Oh, and the action. Running on bearings. Wow. Um, uh, what a thing. Uh, ergo's in hand. Nice contouring. It's very big. It's very big. Uh, nice jimping on the blade spine there, but... Feels good in the hand. Choke up. Feels good. Choke back. Feels nice. Big old finger choil. Sure. Pinch grip this beast? All day? Of course you can pinch grip this. Why wouldn't you be able to? What an absurd thing. It's really not all that heavy for as big as it is. But, uh, yeah. Action. Oh my gosh. Future me. What? I don't, I don't know future me. I just need emotional support right now. Detent's really nice. Flipper tab works great. Light switch it. Feels good. Reverse flick. Take some getting used to with that fuller thumb flick. No. You can kind of pinch and roll it. Sure. But reverse flick you can pull off easy enough. Thumb flick just doesn't. Oh, okay. Thumb flick's okay. 
Reverse flick's kind of a pain in the ass, too. It's a little too smooth. Action's fine. I mean, it's nice and snappy. It's well tuned in. Uh, acoustics. Yeah, it makes a loud-ass noise. We ought to cut something with it. Da really, like I said, tall flat grind, S35VN, sheep's foot style blade. Nice blade. Let me cut something. I like to cut stuff. Why not? Oh, yeah. Artisan does a great job with their factory edges. S35VN's a great steel. So, yeah. For sure. Yeah. Well, I'm struggling. It's early. My I haven't even had my coffee yet. But I have a live stream in like an hour. So, I gotta get this shit done. Yeah. It's... You know, Ed? You never disappoint me, pal. It's, it's absurd. It's insane. The, the Artisan Cutlery Mastiff. Uh, if I can find it, I'll leave a link down below. All right. Put that away so I don't lose it. Moving along. I'll get that back out. I need to get that back out. To a Kubi. What is in the Kubi pouch? What could it be? A Kubi, perhaps? Wait, is there something on the list? There's no... There's no Kubis on the list. So it's not a Kubi? What is it? What are you? Oh, it is a Kubi. Oh, shit. It's the Kubi Atlas in Thai. I have this knife in G10. It's nice. It's fine. This is... Who did this, dude? Kubi Atlas with custom ammo. I know you said that you wanted to handle one. Here you go. Hell yeah. So this is the full Thai Kubi Atlas. Beautiful ammo job once again. Crazy like lightning ammo. Purpley, bluey color. Blue on the back spacer here. It's a ridiculous knife. All the milling, all the craziness going on. Full tie frame lock, big fl flipper tab, big old flicking hole. Insane. Insane. Um, yeah, and once again, just like the Mastiff, you ready? Boom. Big old cleaver, sheep's foot deal going on there. Tall flat grind. Ridiculous. So, Ergo's in hand. Yeah, feels good. The Kubi Atlas feels good. It's a heavier knife, but not crazy heavy. Jelly Jerry Design, that's who did this. Real insane oversized jimping here on the blade spine. Feels good. Little landing pad for your thumb. Huge finger choil. Choke up. Feels good. I could live there all day long. No problems. Feels great. Pinch grip. All day. Feels great. Pinch grip feels excellent. Little draw cut action. All day long. Let me give you a size comparison real quick. Pair three, yeah, it's a, it's big. Ed Durbin doesn't do small knives, and the spider or the tactile rock wall, <laughs> taller than both, longer than both. It's big, it's big. I like the anno job. Uh, action. Oh yeah, running on ceramic bearings. Ooh, detents nice for the flipper tab. Flick and hole feels good for the reverse flick. Thumb flick feels great. Oh yeah. Ooh, that thing drops. Makes a damn good noise, too. Holy crap. Just look just look at this thing. Uh, Yeah, action's great. Detent's great. Big fan. Acoustics are amazing. Listen to this shit. Tink. Solid. Yeah. Yeah. It's nuts. I love it. We'll do, uh, do a little cut a with this too. Great job. Kubi always has done great work with their factory edges as well. I don't think I've ever had a bad experience with a Kubi. Um, great brand. If you've never heard of them, great brand. They do a bunch of excellent budget knives. And then they do some crazy shit like this. What's the blade steel? S35VN on this? They do the crazy full tie pimped out versions of everything as well. So yeah. Kubi Atlas Titanium. Sorry, the Kubi Titanium Atlas. Yeah, it's great. What's not to love? It's insane. So there you go. All right, one more before we wrap this video up because I gotta, I gotta drink more coffee. We have a best tech. Maybe do we? Is there even a best tech on the list? There isn't. Oh my God! What is this? What is this? What is this? What is this? A Max Ace? Um, uh, what? First off, spider webs? Terrifying. Second off, really cool anno job. 
big giant pivot, flathead pivot on the reverse, full titanium frame lock, immense, immense. I cannot. Which way? Which way? Look at this thing, dude. Look at this thing. It's huge. It's like a dinner plate. It's not a knife. It's a dinner plate. Or a charcuterie board. What is this thing, dude? I don't know what this is. Is it one of the Ethan growls? Not a big Ethan growl guy. Just want to... They do a blatant clones. The locking disc is super glued. <laughs> um... I don't know which one this is. Future me, which one is this? The best tech pouch, there's an... Don't get excited about the best tech pouch. There's an Ethan growl in there. I... D I don't know which Ethan growl this is. But it is... I did not know Ethan growl made giant frame locks. This is absurd. Oh my god. Future me, you're gonna have to figure out which one this is. Because I don't know. There's no markings on it. I don't know if it's a clone. But it is insane. Uh, I gotta show you the open size comparison. It's too, it's too ridiculous. Look at it! It's huge! <laughs> Why? Why does this exist? Holy shit. Okay. So, yeah. Action's great. Um, I need to check the Ergos, though. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, it weighs about a quarter ton. But we have all this nice texturing here. Feels good. Great ergonomic lines, honestly. Locks into the handle really well. Big finger choil, so choke up. Feels great. Pinch grip? I have my doubts. No, that's a little too sus. I'd give it a half day. Give it an eight-hour work day. You're not getting 24 hours pinch grip out of this. No way in hell. It's too big, too heavy. I just noticed the purple backspacer. <laughs> nice touch. What a thing. Ha, flat grind on that blade. Action. Yeah, detent's great. It's kind of aggressive. It's kind of a workout, honestly. It's a workout. It's not kind of a workout. My my forearm's on fire right now. It's just too heavy to have any fun with. Oh my god. Yeah. What a th ridiculous. Yeah. What a th <laughs> Why? Why does this exist? The acoustics are insane. The action's really nice. Ceramic bearings. Like uber guillotine. Crazy detent. Yeah, the action's great, but listen to these acoustics. Are you, are we see are we you know? Are we hearing this? What an absurd thing. Let me get the phone book out. I need to learn to read the notes first. Yeah, she'll cut. It's very thick blade stock. Not sure the blade steel future me. I have no idea. Probably D2. It's an Ethan growl. I don't know. But yeah, dude. But yeah, dude. It'll cut. It'll cut all day long, man. Sure shit. Sure shit. The Mac, the uh, Ethan growl. I don't know. I, I don't know which one this is. F future me, it's up to you. But that is it. That is this thing. The... From Ethan Growl, which I feel like is a clone, so it kind of makes me feel icky. The... Can I? Yes. The Kubi Atlas in Titanium. And finally... Which where? Where? Which where? 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 Which? The Artisan Cutlery Mastiff. Three insane knives! Uh, I need... Thank you. These knives are so big, I can't get them on the screen. They're too big, dude. Look at them. Look at them. Ed, thank you for all the, all the, oh God, for all the stuff. It's a lot. It's going to take me several weeks to get through all this, but I greatly appreciate it. This is just part one. There will be at least three or four videos of these, all these crazy knives. But that is it. That's all I have time for. I got to get ready for a live stream. So thank you so much for watching. Subscribe down below. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let me become a Patreon member, become a channel member. Let me join me on Instagram. Check out my TikTok. Do all the things. Hit the links down below. Save you money and it helps the channel out. That's it. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.